NFL Brad sits for anthem after tragedy, karma hits him hard on the field few minutes later. Despite 59 Americans dead and well over 500 more injured, an NFL punk decided that it was still appropriate to remain seated rather than stand in unity for our national anthem as our country mourns. Unfortunately for him, things took quite a turn just a few minutes later, and that's about the time karma swooped in to hit the punk hard on the field. With the country still reeling after the horror that unfolded on Sunday in Las Vegas, Nevada, it seems that not even death can stop entitled punks from throwing their temper tantrum. Proving just that were the two NFL morons who decided that it was still appropriate to spit on our country despite the rest of the nation standing united with one another. In all, BizPack Review reports that three people decided not to stand for the national anthem during Monday Night Football including Kansas City Chiefs cornerback Marcus Peters and linebacker Uke Melig. Linebacker Justin Houston also joined the two, but instead, he seemed to be kneeling with his head bowed as if he was in prayer. Whatever the case may be, the American people didn't seem to appreciate it, given what had happened less than 24 hours before. Unfortunately for Marcus Peters, he was about to get exactly what he deserved on the field as karma stopped by to smack him hard. According to its review, just moments after refusing to stand for the national anthem, Peters was completely burned for a 44-yard touchdown by the Redskins. Even better yet, viewers all across America have been enjoying the footage after it was shared on Twitter. As if Peters isn't suffering enough today on account of his own selfish, stubborn agenda, things just got even worse as yet another photo of him surfaced on social media. Of course, it shows him sitting but it's the image right next to his photo that has everyone's attention. In short, the tweet simply asks, both sitting, one's a hero the other is not, can you tell which one? As it turns out, the man depicted next to Peters is actually Jonathan Smith, a man who was one of the people caught up in the Las Vegas gunfire on Sunday night. Both sitting, one's a hero the other is not, can you tell which one? Jonathan Smith saved 30 lives. Marcus Peters sat during moment of silence. Jonathan Smith saved 30 lives while running around under fire. Marcus Peters, on the other hand, chose to disrespect the man's heroic actions and sat during a moment of silence for the lives lost during the tragedy. This nation is full of hunks who want what they didn't turn and don't deserve. What's worse is the fact that they're so hell-bent on their agenda that they're willing to spit in the faces of any fellow American that gets in their way, intentionally or otherwise. The entitlement mentality is out of hand, and these idiots better get a grip before they're forced to stand in an unemployment line. It would be wise of Peters to focus more on what he's being paid millions to do and leave the politics to the rest of us, you know, before it's too late for him. Please share the story and tell us what you think by clicking one of the buttons below. We want to hear your voice, your voice.